Welcome back and starting out the week Jeff is in the process of bonding in these nut plates in the uh, four plane spar the ones that are going to be used to actually bolt that to the forward bulkhead and he's just, he's just got a little plastic cup over there because he's going to fill all that section with foam uh, so we can do a close out over the top of it and after we match drilled the holes um, between the spars on uh, Friday between the main spar and the wing spars um, got this one up on the machine you now both of them up on the machine and just drilling them all the way through because we only just drilled it through the first layer there and this is the best way to get a nice um, perpendicular hole uh, through both skins so and there's obviously going to be a bushing in there that's going to stop those from being uh, compressed when they're bolted on and you'll see that uh, in a little bit anyway I just got these on the machine and had four holes to do two in each spar and just uh, drilled the pilot hole through to the other side in preparation so Jeff could come through and drill the full size hole which is actually uh, uh, 9 16 I believe and there you can see I'm doing the other one and it's already all the way through there so um, not too difficult to do those and uh, this way just guarantees that the holes are going to uh, line up nicely and not be sort of skewed on any sort of angle by accident and here Jeff's using uh, the drill bit there has a 9 16 inch hole in it but it goes through um, with a pilot driver there so it uh, starts out with the pilot hole and then uh, cuts a nice hole there as you can see there as he's doing that so he basically did um, both of those spars and then flipped them over and did the other side the, pol the pilot holes from the other side as well so those are all drilled now and he also used the same bit to drill the holes through the actual main spar as well so that only has the one solid sort of skin but there you can see he's got the bolt and the bushing in there as well and uh, ready to actually bolt that uh, spar on for the first time because on Friday it was just clamped in place and the same uh, going on over here same bolts on both sides there uh, ready to bolt that on just to see how everything's fitting and here Devin and Jeff are lining it up and uh, just getting in the process of of bolting the first one on there so you've got to have the sleeve bushing in there as well and just get it all lined up and then the bolt goes through and put a nut on there and you're all good and this is that Ford uh, four plane spar and then just getting ready to close out that front section there Jeff had put some expanding foam in that hole uh, I showed you earlier uh, before he did the close out so here now it's closed out and they've uh, vacuumed it down so they've got a nice tight uh, finish on that uh, layup and one thing we hadn't done yet because we were doing the pressurization test was drill these um, bolts there for the gear all the way through into the cabin and so I got this big long drill bit that Jeff had had um, from one of his previous aircraft and that's what it looks like there and just uh, drilled the final hole through the rear pressure bulkhead and then uh, the bolts will go in through there from this side and back through to the other side to hold the gear leg in place so that's one of the holes there and you can actually see all the way through there and the other ones are drilled on the other side as well and I spent some time on Monday just doing the last little fixes on these doors and then Jeff um, did some well, sprayed some primer on where I'd worked on so now we just have to wet sand them with 320 and they're ready for their um, top coat so that'll be sometime this week and here you can see both wing spars fully bolted on now and that's just temporary hardware we're going to actually have locking nuts on there and uh, sitting back up on the foam now on the spars just because I was working on those uh, drilling those landing gear bolts but that's been done now uh, so there you can see that one's uh, done as well so moving along so that can come off shortly and actually start constructing that wing and um, one thing I worked on, on the weekend was just finishing off the design of this new um, brace that we need for the engine mount so this is the, the parts for it are the ones highlighted in blue there and what this is basically going to have four different uh, purposes uh, one is to support the inlet tray and obviously the cowling and uh, the other one is to um, just add some extra strength to the engine mount and the third one is to prevent any sort of harmonic effect from happening with the engine mount sort of bouncing up and down and finally uh, because it has uh, rod ends in there it's uh, adjustable so we can if we want to tweak the engine mount just to lift it up or put it down just a little bit we can and that will help drive exactly where the cowling is going to be so I flattened out those round tubes in the CAD and printed them out and then wrapped them around some of this uh, one inch tube and then just cut them out with a Dremel 
and you see I'm ready to do that one there so there's four of those to do and then the cross brace looks like this so I've just got a little template on the end there for where the hole is going to be drilled and just where it's rounded off on the corners and this is what that looks like when it's done so there's the hardware sitting in there I've got a slide in a little sleeve there to the rod and uh, so you'll be able to turn those rods to adjust it up and down and then those ones are all cut so they basically uh, sit on there like that this one will sit on there and obviously it's upside down right now um, and the other one sits on there and that uh, um, gets welded to the existing engine mount and then the other ones kind of sit almost uh, perpendicular off of there and they also weld to the existing engine mount so that's um, coming along I still got a little bit more work to do on that and uh, Devin's been working on the skins a little bit more he's cut out the access panels now this is on the low the lower uh, skin of the foreplane and he's done both of those and he's been working on a few of the other areas as well just getting all these skins uh, ready so it won't be too long and the four plane will be going together as well and there's the other door so Jeff um, sprayed that one as well just wanted to show you so I'll be uh, sanding on that one tomorrow and getting it ready for top coat and finally Dan's been working on a bunch of different things so I've got these um, pusher fan uh, sorry puller fans in there and uh, this is for the AC um, condenser so he's already had those in and wired up and he's pulled them out again and then this is a little uh, fuse box that we have or relay slash fuse box it's going to be mounted up there and that's going to have relays and fuses in it for um, the fans and also the fuel pumps and uh, maybe one other thing in there as well uh, I'm not sure maybe the um, pressurization solenoids and he's also moved now those um, fuel flow um, valves or sorry fuel flow sensors in there he's got them off the engine stand and on here so uh, coming along there nicely and under there you can see where he's got the uh, pass-throughs there for that's the heater hoses there and the AC hoses there and he's in the process of getting the, the power the main uh, positive power line through there he's got to put um, a uh, fiberglass thing in there to prevent it from uh, shorting out on the carbon fiber anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and uh, thanks again for watching and uh, tune in again on Saturday and uh, see what sort of progress we make for the second half of the week